and good morning guys. A little bit cold this morning, but that's what you expect when there is a snow flurry happening. It reminds me so much of Scotland. I would go to sleep, perfect night, wake up to an absolutely winter wonderland. <laughs> just look at it, it's absolutely incredible. Today the plan is to just go and explore all the way to Songkul. It's hopefully going to be a highlight of our trip. That's the way we've planned it to be. But it was incredible last night. We got such beautiful colors here. Woke up about two o'clock in the morning, glistening stars once again, and now waking up to this. It is bitterly cold. We are gonna have some breakfast and get on this trip today. Gonna to hit up a mountain pass, then finally get into Songkul. We're not sure what's gonna happen because of the weather, but it should be epic. This morning we shot some great footage for the short film. I'm super pumped of what we shot this morning and also shot some pretty cool photos to sort of endorse that short film. So here's a quick snippet of those now. Let's get on this way because today it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So we had a massive change of plan. Song call was freezing cold, blizzards, not what we expected at all. We were driving around the lake to the place we wanted to get to the yurt camps. Had the best viewpoint, but we didn't realize the road was so bad to get there. It was four wheel drive, had to cross a river. It's just not what we expected at all to do. So we have come all the way down and you can see by the drive, it was rough, rugged, blizzard going across. It was between minus five to zero, but absolutely bitterly cold with the wind. I would have hated to have known what the real feel was. But we've come down to who knows where. <laughs> we have no idea. We basically come down to 2,200 from 3,300. It's much nicer and the view is absolutely worth it. Alex and I are standing on the side of a mountain here like mountain goats with a pretty spectacular view, I have to admit. It's much warmer, I feel much better and photography right now is great. I've set up with a 10 to 24 mil, taking some images, but more for me personally. The car and the tent are down there, beautiful vista in the background. But the two main shots that I wanted to do is try and capture a panoramic of this vista, which actually right now is lighting up. So I'm gonna be really quick talking about this. And the other image is with the 55 to 200 zoomed in to the valley just down there. I'm gonna get back to you guys in a minute because the view is just lighting up and this image is more important for me and you guys than anything else. So I'll be back to you in a second. Okay, we're setting two men to one job. Thank you to Alex being the cameraman because the light is happening absolutely perfect right now. There's three compositions that I've found and the one I want to take you through first is the panoramic because the vista right in front of us is perfect. Two key fundamental things in this. Level the tripod. I'm on the side of a mountain, it's like 35 degrees, level the tripod. 
and manual focus because you don't want focus to change all the way around because the if I'm looking at it directly here, the actual mountain range is running away from us right now. So super important. I'm gonna go from this side all the way around where the light is happening and a five stitch pano. Very simple, one exposure. This image is nothing grand, but it just sums up a pretty crazy day for a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Enjoy this image, guys. Guys, there is the image and I really bloody hope that stitch of the panoramic worked. The view speaks for itself, but there's one key element to that panoramic that I really, really enjoy. And it's that right over there. It's got an S bend all the way into the valley of the mountain. The homestay, the cattle gives great scale. So it's got a leading lion scale and obviously the beautiful vista of the mountain. I've changed from, I was shooting the 8 55 at 30 mil for the panoramic, but I've changed the 55 to 200 because I feel like it's sharper at 55 than this lens. So I am going to shoot at landscape using that S bend going in on the bottom right hand corner into the mountain to give that leading line and the scale of the homestay. The snow capped mountains beautiful beautiful image here it is guys i really hope you enjoy it also so there is the final image guys but not the only two images i shot from here i've been shooting behind the camera with the full colors leading line of the river just a good Instagram shot, not a portfolio image or anything. Then with the campground and the beautiful vista in the background, just to keep memories. That's something I want to shoot more of, shoot more photography for me personally, not for my sort of workflow, let's so to speak. So to speak. But I'm going to sit up here for the next half an hour, watch the sunset and enjoy this view. Today wasn't exactly what we expected. I said to you guys this morning that Song Call is going to be an absolute highlight of this trip. We didn't even really get there. And tomorrow, we have no bloody idea what we're going to do. Head to a cafe, find Wi-Fi, and find things to do. But that is part of our trip. It's just a great way to be in freedom and doing whatever you want. But I'm going to sit here, guys, enjoy this. That is it from me today. I will see you guys, I'm not really sure when, but I want to see your smiling faces then. That is it for me today. Ciao. Oh, Alex. Cheers, guys. Ciao. <laughs>